Welcome back my friend. Today we're gonna to be talking about buying property from the auction. I bought thousands of property from the auction and I know exactly how it works. So today I'm gonna to help you understand what the auctions are, how that system works, how properties get to be there, and how you can get your hands on a fantastic deal. Cause we're gonna be legends. What we're doing here ain't just scary. It's about to be legendary. So banks have to have a way of getting rid of their bad properties. It doesn't mean that the property is bad. It just means that they sold it to someone that didn't take care of it the way that it needed to. And now the property is a problem. And the bigger problem isn't the bank owning it. It's how it's affecting the bank's ratios. It's keeping them from actually lending out more money with the way fractionalized banking works. Banks, I never really thought, and what I've experienced is I don't think they're very intelligent about the way that they sell off properties because often they can get a lot more money than they sell things for but they're not really in the business of real estate. They're in the business of lending. They're in the business of lending money. And so when they have an asset that doesn't work, they just wanna dump it. And one of the best ways to dump it is at an auction. So let's actually break this down a little bit here. First of all, when a property goes to auction, every county across the United States works differently on their auctions. Sometimes these auctions will only give you 24 hours. They'll publish their list one day before they're gonna sell them. And that's how much time you have. In one of the markets I was in, we always had 24 hours to race and see hundreds of homes before the auction the next morning. And why would you actually wanna see the property before you actually bid on it at the auction? That's because a property sight unseen can, can have several problems. You see, if you can get in the property, you can get a concept of what it's gonna to cost to fix it up. You can figure out, does it need appliances? Does it need new flooring? You know, does it need a paint job? And if you know those things in advance, then you can base your bid on that. So a property is worth $150,000. And at the auction, they're selling it for $100,000. You're like, this is a great deal. Like I'm getting it for a third off. It's worth 150, I can get it for 100. Yeah, but if you got in the property and saw there was structural damage and that you have to lift one side of the house and do this and this, you might be like, dude, it's got $40,000 worth of repairs. I would never buy that property. Why would I buy a property that is worth 150 that I can buy for 100 and it needs $40,000 to fix it up? But if you also go to the auctions, you might find a property that, hey, everyone else only had one day's notice. I got in the property, I looked through the windows and you know what I found out? I found out that it's just cosmetic, paint and carpet, maybe five, six grand. And the property's worth 150 and I can buy it for 100. That's all of a sudden a really great deal because now you know that you need very little put into it. So with the time that they give you before the auction, you've got to find a way to check out the property and basically figure out what my highest and best bid is going to be. Because as everyone else is bidding, you got to make sure that you're in fact only buying a property that goes up to your standard. If it goes beyond because there's a bidding war going on, trust me, you're not going to want that property. Some of the pros of using auctions that you can get a really good deal. The con is that you might not get a good deal or you might feel rushed or pressured into a deal that frankly you shouldn't get. You should make sure that you can check out the property enough to ensure that it's a good deal if you're gonna actually bid on it. Now, by the way, is this a good strategy? Is this a strategy that I use? It's a fantastic strategy and I do use it. I actually think that of 17 different strategies that my acquisitions team uses for finding deals next to the MLS, this is probably one of the most prevalent strategies. So you gotta know your math, you gotta know your numbers. Another one of the downsides, however, of auctions is that if you win the auction, guess what happens? They want money. And when? Some auctions actually want their money literally on the spot immediately due upon winning the earnings. Sometimes you get 48 hours so you can actually send a wire out. So I think that's the other thing to be aware of. Um, auctions is also gonna require you to be hands-on. That's another downside in my playbook. But if you have teams, competent teams that you trust, they, that it can also work totally in your favor. Um, at the end of the day, auctions are super viable. Here's what you need. It's one thing, it's mentorship. There are just too many little things that can go wrong in real estate without having someone that can really have your back. So one of the things that I advise for everyone is you gotta have a mentor. And I do know that sometimes mentors can be super expensive, which is why I created a coaching hotline. Basically, it's the exact same team of experts that are transacting all of my real estate. 
I've got a group of them that are available by phone so that when you're out there doing real estate, they can actually answer your questions and help you succeed as well. In fact, there's a lot of you here that will actually watch my channel because it's free. It's powerful, free step-by-step -step mentoring in real estate. But guess what? YouTube doesn't talk back very easy. That's why I created the coaching hotline so that when you're trying to implement what I'm sharing, you've got coaches that will spend as much time as you want going through the answers until you're satisfied and understand step-by-step -step exactly what you need to be doing. And so don't go into real estate without a mentor. That lone wolf syndrome that so many people have is actually why they end up losing. It's because they didn't have sufficient experience or wisdom or couldn't crunch the numbers or they just didn't know what they didn't know. I'll never forget one of my mentors I paid a million dollars to. The most valuable lesson that he taught me, he said, Chris, the most dangerous information to you is what you don't know. And in real estate, it's really true. I don't want to scare you. You just need to make sure that you have someone on your side that's actually there and helping you figure out how to do this intelligently. Whether that's um, hiring a mentor for $10,000 or $30,000 or using my hotline for a few bucks a month, it's probably the most inexpensive form of with hyper-qualified people that I'm aware of out there that can help you succeed at this. Bottom line is that it's here, it's available to help you win, rock it out, and absolutely crush it and succeed. If auctions are right for you, and if you're ready to go out there, or if you're ready to try a different strategy, and you're just like, dude, it's time to take action, I just wanna make sure I do it the right way, I want you to at least know that you have a resource here. Click the link below, and I've got my team on standby. You guys have asked for it, and I'm finally giving it to you. So you got the real estate hands-on help that you're looking for without making huge financial commitments. Take advantage of the team. They're brilliant experts. They're really good at what they do and they can give you the guidance that you want. For the rest of you, thank you so much for watching today. Listen, make sure that you are a subscriber, that you ring that bell. Every day I've got a brand new video and I create all of these videos for free as a training program for you to help you get the real estate training and expertise that you're looking for. Thank you so much. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow.